So Brian, my original thought process on this question was to talk about how, do, how does all of this data actually change our pricing strategy? But I want to add in a little bit of how does it truly give us the, the transparency in that pricing model as a consumer as well? Yeah. So it's kind of a, a dual question now because I'm adding on from from what we got within the audience. What and I think the question's great. It's that you know does does all this additional data take away transparency? And, and I think actually, um, all due respect, I think um, Alexander asked the question is is sort of conflating two things, but it's perfect because it speaks to what Nick's just saying. The data itself could be creating more transparency. The question is how's it being used, right? And I think to the Nick's point around culture, if you take in this data and you're not using it smartly and effectively or clearly because Alexander's question was like, you know, the, the rationality in the conclusions made from the data leads to consumer confusion. It's not, it's not a lack of transparency. It's frankly a failure of using the data effectively. And mm -hmm. a great example of that is heartbreaking incidents, which is one of the things I mentioned. When you don't have context, you have no idea if heartbreaking is good or bad. Um, I break hard because a ball's rolling out into the street and I know there's no cars around me. And I know chances are there's going to be a kid following after that ball. The right thing, the safer thing to do, the less risky thing is to break hard and make sure I don't hit a child or, you know, something horrible that could happen. But my dongle says heartbreaking event. Then it's up to my carrier to say, well, how do we interpret these contextless kind of data points? That's a transparent thing to say, like, heartbreaking happened at this time and date and place. But for them to say, oh, you're a bad driver, so we're going to charge you more, that leaves me angry and confused as a customer because it was good behavior. Other carriers have said, well, because we don't know, we're just going to ignore it. So there's transparency in the data. It's not harming anything, but the carrier's not doing anything with it because they've realized we don't know if it's good or bad. And if we make the wrong call on that, we're either giving credit to someone who's a bad driver and we don't want to do that, or we're penalizing someone who's a good driver and we don't want to do that either. There could be regulatory implications of it. We could anger them and they churn. And that's, I mean, this is a retention business. That's how you make money in this business. It's not off a single year policy. That's what specialty lines might be about. Um, so I think this is, it's not the data itself. It's how we're choosing to engage with it. And to be fair to your question, there are absolutely carriers who are not doing this the right way. Um, and there are carriers who are. And so the, the cool thing is, it's all possible. The tools are there. The mindsets are there. It's just whether you've brought them into your carrier. And I will say my own carrier, I'm changing cars right now, has exhibited which camp they fall into. Um, so it'll be interesting to see uh, how that plays out. And I'm talking to some of their executives there to share my insights and we'll see how they take that feedback. But I think that's very telling. You know, do you take this as, oh, wow, you know, thank you for bringing this to light customer your experience is actually what matters. And we have all these excuses of why it is that way, but you don't actually care about that, right? I don't care that they're big or that they have, you know, this system constraint or blah, 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 because here's another carrier in the same context as you who's doing it differently. So clearly we can do better. It's a question of whether you've chosen to. And, and I think that's really the heart of the issue. So to Alexander's point, that to me is as an agent or broker, how you should also be guiding where you direct your customers uh, for coverage is, is that carrier thinking about this the right way or are they sort of using it as marketing, but the reality is in, in uh, delivery, they're gonna use it against you or not use it effectively and leave your customer very unhappy.